This video will review how to upgrade the carriage assemblies of the PRS33 Powerlift shop stand to the design found on the PRS33.2 using the 2149K upgrade kit. The new design features upgraded buttons as well as USB ports for charging devices and electronic components. Tools required for this procedure are a 5mm hex wrench, a T15 Torx compatible wrench, a 10mm combination wrench, needle nose pliers, a 3mm hex wrench, and a 4mm hex wrench. To begin, set the carriage assembly to a comfortable working height. Unthread and unplug the power supply from the carriage assembly. Using a 5mm hex wrench, remove the four screws from underneath the motor enclosure. Remove the work tray by lifting upwards. Note, it is safe to let the motor enclosure hang from the wires once the tray is removed. Unplug the two wires attached to the motor. A needle nose pliers may be needed to disconnect the wires. Be careful to not pull on the wire itself. Remove the motor enclosure from the carriage assembly. With the housing apart, go ahead and check that the grub screws on the coupler are still tight. Also, check the motor mounting bolts. This can save time down the road. Begin by dismantling the motor enclosure by removing the six screws from under the bottom of the housing. Loosen the nut on the power terminal until there is approximately a 4mm gap. Place the power terminal into the groove located on the motor enclosure, with the washer and nut on the outer edge of the motor enclosure. Tighten the nut with a 10mm combination wrench. Route the power supply wire along the edge of the motor tray, as shown. Leave enough wire loose so the motor can fit under it. Tuck the wire between the motor mount and wall. This will ensure that the wire does not get pinched when the work tray is placed on top. While holding onto the motor enclosure and work tray, slide the motor enclosure onto the electric motor until the motor enclosure comes into contact with the carriage of the PRS33.2. Push upwards on the motor enclosure once it comes into contact with the carriage so the motor mount is seated into the motor enclosure. Plug the two remaining terminals into the corresponding motor terminals. Note, it is helpful to have a second person help during this part. Place the work tray over the motor while being careful to not pinch the wires. Note, there is a tab on the work tray that must be on the inside of the motor enclosure. Using a 5mm hex wrench, install the four M6 screws on the bottom side of the motor enclosure. Using a T15 Torx compatible wrench, install the two M4 thread forming screws. Tighten until the screws are snug. Attach the power supply into the terminal on the carriage. Test the unit by moving the clamp up and down. The stand is now ready to use.